بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں ان شاء اللہ ہنڈریڈ پرسنٹ سلیکشن ول بی دیئر ان ٹموروز سٹیٹسٹکل آفیسر پیپر ان شاء اللہ یو ول بی سلیکٹڈ جس یو ول ہیو ٹو لرن دیز الیون پوائنٹس وچ آئی ول ڈسکس ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈیز وائٹل اینڈ امپورٹنٹ لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی چینل اینڈ کلک دا بیل آئیکن فار دا نوٹیفیکیشنز آف دا نیکسٹ امپورٹنٹ ویڈیوز ڈیئر میل اینڈ فیمل کینڈیڈیٹس ٹو مورو ان دا اسٹیٹسٹکل آفیسرز پی پی ایس سی پیپر وین یو ول سٹ ان دا ایگزام اینڈ یو آر جسٹ تھنکنگ دیٹ ناؤ اف یو آر کنفرم دیٹ آفٹر تھری اور فائیو منٹس دا کوشچن پیپر ول بی ڈسٹریبیوٹیڈ امنگ دا کینڈیڈیٹس یو ول سی یو ول ریسائٹ درود درود پاک درو شریف ٹویلو ٹائمز صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ و علیہ وسلم اٹ ول ٹیک ہارڈلی ون منٹ فرام یو اینڈ وٹ از دا بینیفٹ آف درو شریف all the formula all the concepts all the questions whether they are numerical or theoretical you will never ever forget all these questions with the blessings of durud o salam and after that reach read each question read each each question two times in the exam the question paper will be given to you i re- i request everyone i suggest everyone i advise everyone you will have to read all the questions two times at least first of all read the question one time then again read second time and one thing i want to mention first of all if you see that the first option is correct b can also be correct then c option is both a and b then c will be the correct option if you read the question two times at least and after reading two times you will have to see all the four options it is it can be possible one option will be correct and it can also possible two options are correct or three options are correct or all options are correct so you will be very careful you should be very active when you learn when you just speak the complete sentence it is theoretical one or numerical one if you read the statement two or three times then you will have to see all the four options first of all see which is the most suitable one and it can be possible that the two or three options will be correct if all are above all are correct then you will have to click on the d option all are correct it is very important i have seen so many students if they just read the statement one time and they just click b option or c option or a option and after some time they realized that d was the correct option all of the above so i request i, I suggest all the students that you will have to read all the statements at least two times and then you will have to focus which is the best one a can be correct b can be correct if c is both a and b it can also correct if d is all of the above it can also correct then three Pick the answer about which you are hundred percent sure. That is the most important point, and that will be the key to your success in tomorrow's paper. If you are hundred percent sure about anyone, for example, if there is a question that all measures of central tendency depend upon origin and scale, they are affected by addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I am hundred percent sure about this much. I will click A option. and if you are in doubt if you are not 100% sure about any option please don't take any risk and that will be the that can be the cause of your failure and that is my point that is my experience tick all those questions tick all those mcqs about which you are 100% sure then the fourth one is attempt all the theoretical questions first in the exam there will be there can be two types of questions first will be theoretical second will be numerical first of all you will have to solve all the theoretical questions you will have to attempt you will have to give the answers of all the theoretical questions then the next one is attempt all the numerical questions after attempting the theoretical questions if you realize that you have solved you have attempted you have ticked all the theoretical questions now you will give you will allocate the time for the numerical questions because that can take the time more than the time which you have consumed for the theoretical questions these are the basic concepts for solving for attempting every written test of ppsc 
FPSC and KPPSC. Then the sixth one is do not attempt those questions about which you are not sure. For example, dear students, if you know the answer of 70 questions and you have attempted 70 questions, you will get 70 marks for this much. And if you think, if you have a temptation of attempting, if you have some greedy greediness for attempting all the 30 remaining questions, what will you do? If you are in doubt and you attempt all the 30 questions about which you are not 100% sure and you lose your marks because four marks if you if you if you attempt four questions these are wrong answers then it will decrease it will minus your it will subtract one mark from the 70 marks and you can you cannot pass the exam so what did you learn i have seen many students they know the paper they they can pass the paper very easily but they attempted all the questions about which they were not sure if you know the answer of 50 questions it is enough it can be possible that cut point will be 40 or 45 or 50 you can pass the exam and you can go for the interview if you know the answer of 45 questions, it's enough. You will have to attempt all these 45. You should get 45 marks out of 45. You do not think about the 55. If you do not know the answer 100% about these questions, then the next one is take complete time for the paper. There are many students after one hour, after 50 minutes, they just complete the exam. No, you will have to stay over there for the complete time. Take your time, allocate the time for every question, read every statement two or three times, then see all the options. And then after experiencing, after observing, after reading completely, you will have to decide which is the best option, whether it is A, B, C or D. Uh, that, that's a very important point. You will have to consume 100% time in the exam, in the tomorrow's exam. Then the next one is revise all the formula. You will have to revise all the formula of the numerical questions. Les Pierce, Passier's, Fisher, Marshall, Marshall Time Reversal Test, Factor Reversal Test, Circular Test, Calais Test, Mean, Median, Mode, Geometric Mean, all the formula of movements, coefficient of variation, Beta 1, Beta 2, and then if you go to the probability, Mutually Exclusive Events, Intersection Formula, Union Formula, Bayesian Theorem, Random Variable, Expectation, Variance, then Binomial Distribution, its Mean, Variance, its Probability Density Function, Negative Binomial Distribution, Hypergeometric Distribution, Paisan Distribution, Normal Distribution, its Properties, Regression Formula, Correlation Formula, then you go to the Time Series Formula, Experimental Design, Latin Square Design, Missing Observations Formula, then you go to the Multivariate Analysis, Non-Parametric, all the formula of the white statistics you will have to revise today all the formula which can come in the exam then the ninth one is revise all the names of all the statistician actually who discovered who has given the idea of regression the correlation about statistics about call pearson about fisher about baule about lespier pastures fisher marshall you will have to revise all the for all the names of the statistician who have done some work in the field of statistics these are very very important questions in tomorrow's exam then the next one is revise all the years in when regression was introduced in in which year when correlation was introduced in which year when first time statistics was introduced what was the year all these years you will have to learn for the tomorrow's paper and for the lecture paper also then the last point is examples of scales a very important one if some question is come male and female it is example of nominal ordinal ratio or interval there are the ranking of the hotels it is ordinal scale you will have to click ordinal what is the scale examples of ratio scale interval scale you will have to revise the implementation of scales that is very important for every written test especially for the tomorrow's test and at the end i will say to everyone that you should comment on today's video and inshallah after a few days, I'm going to start the class online session for all the students of Pakistan for the post of statistical assistant. A very important post, 270 seats are there and that is a very beneficial, beneficial chance for every student to get that job. And must comment on today's lecture and subscribe to my channel also. Assalamu alaikum.